Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. A little more sorting out of the workshop this time and I'm going to turn my attention to my random orbital sander. I've been keeping all my sanding discs in a box. The trouble is, all the grits get mixed up and you don't realise when you run out of one until you really need it. So I thought what I need is a rack with a shelf for each different grit so I can see what I've got on hand and if I'm getting low I can always order more. My plan is to cut little dados for the shelves to slot into. I thought about what way to do this. I could do trenching cuts on the miter saw, I could set up the router and do it, but I've decided to try and do it with the crosscut sled on the table saw. As we don't have dado blades in the UK, I just had to keep moving the wood across and nibbling away at the piece. It didn't take too long. Unfortunately, I don't have a blade with a flat tooth, which means it creates little grooves. So it just took a little bit more work with a chisel to clean it all up. At the top of the rack is where the sander itself is going to go. To make it easier to get in and out, and so it didn't have any sharp corners, I thought I'd round the corners over. I should have taped the two pieces together and done them at the same time on the bandsaw, but I didn't. But I did remember to actually sand them at the same time, so they end up being even. This is all just going to be glued together. There was quite a lot of glue to be put on, so I had to work quite quick. The shelves just slide into place with a nice friction fit. Well, some of them do. Others need a little bit of persuasion with a mallet. With them all in one side, the mirroring piece can go in. And a little bit of tapping needed just to make sure they're seated all properly. With them all in, it's time to quickly get some clamps on and leave it all to dry. I left it for a couple of hours and then took all the clamps off. I found a hook in my random box of hardware and attached it to one side so that the cable for the random orbital sander could hook onto it. And then I put a couple of keyhole plates on the back. Attached to the wall, I could start putting all the sandpapers into place. I have a little labelling machine and I've been meaning to label a lot of things in the shop. But this way I could see what grits go where no excuse for running out of paper again. That's one more bit of the shop organised. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.